A 50 engine torture test just exposed something brutal. Half ran 0W20 oil, half ran 5W30. After 200,000 miles, the 0W20 group showed 42% higher bearing wear in burned oil like a two stroke. But dealerships still slapped that thin oil into everything from Corollas to F 150. Why? Because fuel economy stickers sell cars and thick oil ruins EPA numbers. Today, we're cracking open the data your mechanic never mentions and the OEM Bulletin Toyota tried to bury. Stick around because I'll reveal the exact oil weight engineers secretly use in durability labs. Section 1. Decoding the numbers, what W actually means. Let's kill the confusion. That W stands for winter, not weight. The first number, 0W or 5W, measures cold flow performance at sub-zero temperatures. 0W20 stays liquid at minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit, so your engine cranks faster on frozen mornings without grinding starter gears. 5W30 thickens slightly in extreme cold, but flows just fine in normal climates and still protects during warm-up. The second number, 20 or 30, defines high temp viscosity at 212 degrees Fahrenheit, your engine's operating zone where most damage occurs. Think of it like this. 20 weight is water, 30 weight is syrup. One flows fast through tight clearances, the other clings tight to metal surfaces. And that clinging matters when metal meets metal at 6,000 RPM under a summer sun. Without that protective film, you're looking at direct contact and accelerated wear. Section two, the hidden cost. What thin oil really does. Here's what the Automotive Testing Institute of North America found after dissecting those 50 engines in a controlled lab environment. The 0W20 group delivered 3.2% better city MPG, great for window stickers and EPA compliance, but by 150,000 miles, they consumed 28% more oil and showed visible piston scuffing during teardowns under microscope analysis. Timing chains stretch 2.5 millimeters beyond spec in Nissan's turbos, triggering rough idle and misfires that confuse dealership techs. Meanwhile, 5W30 engines ran cleaner, quieter, with intact oil films protecting cylinder walls even under sustained highway loads. Scotty Kilmer, 50 years wrenching, says it bluntly. 0W20 gets you through warranty. 5W30 gets you to 300,000 miles without a rebuild. The difference isn't opinion, it's measurable on a dial indicator. These aren't minor variances. They're the gap between a reliable engine and an expensive paperweight. Section three, why automakers push thin oil anyway? It's not a conspiracy, it's CAFE regulations enforced by federal law. The US government fines automakers if fleet fuel economy dips below target averages across their entire lineup. So Toyota, Honda, and Ford spec 0W20 across millions of vehicles to boost average MPG by fractions and dodge million-dollar penalties that cut into profits. Toyota admitted this in Technical Bulletin 2018, TC004. Low viscosity oil specified primarily for fuel economy benefit. Under high load, higher viscosity improves durability. Translation, they know thick oil protects better, but thin oil sells better and keeps regulators happy. Ironically, Japanese and European test labs run the same engines on 5W30 or 5W40 for longevity validation in non-EPA environments. Only North America gets the ultra-thin formula because our testing cycle prioritizes short-term efficiency over long-term survival. It's legal, it's strategic, and it's quietly costing you thousands in premature engine repairs. Section four, the danger zone where thin oil fails. Inside every modern engine lies a hidden hellscape, the piston ring to cylinder wall interface where temps spike past 500 degrees Fahrenheit in direct injection and turbo motors under load. According to ASTM D4683 testing, 0W20 oil loses film strength around 450 degrees Fahrenheit and begins breaking down molecularly. Once that protective layer collapses, microscopic metal contact begins and wear accelerates exponentially with each combustion cycle. Teardown photos from the 50 engine study showed it clearly. Dark varnish buildup and scuffed piston skirts in the thin oil group that resembled sandpaper damage. The 5W30 engines, 
Clean cylinders, intact films, and bearings that look showroom new after identical mileage. That extra 35% film thickness at operating temperature is the difference between smooth operation and metal grinding that mechanics call bearing knock. Hybrids suffer even worse, with dozens of cold starts per commute where oil drains back into the pan. Each restart means fresh metal-on-metal -metal contact until pressure builds again. Toyota quietly recommends 5W30 for hybrids past 100,000 miles, even though the cap still says 0W20. Section 5. Oil Consumption and Timing Chain Carnage If your car is burning a quart between changes, blame oil volatility measured in lab conditions. The NOC Volatility Test, ASTM D5800, revealed 0W20 oils lose up to 13% mass after 10 hours at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, while 5W30 loses just 6-7% to under identical thermal stress. That vapor doesn't vanish. It coats intake valves with carbon, clogs your cat converter, and triggers lean codes that confuse oxygen sensors. Worse, thin oil can't maintain hydraulic pressure in timing chain tensioners that rely on consistent flow and pressure. Nissan's service bulletin, NTB20-039, documented chain elongation in turbo engines running 0W20, causing timing drift and rough idle that owners mistook for spark plug issues. Switch to 5W30? Wear rate dropped immediately and tensioner pressure stabilized within normal range. If your engine ticks at startup or sounds like marbles in a can, it's not age. It's oil that's too thin for the job and letting metal slap against metal. That ticking is the sound of money leaving your wallet, one microsecond of contact at a time. Section 6. Turbo Engines, the Oil Torture Chamber Your turbocharger spins at 150,000 RPM and relies entirely on oil for cooling and lubrication without any secondary system. That oil must resist oxidation, heat, and shear while cushioning microscopic bearings under insane pressure and thermal shock. In hot climates or highway drives, 0W20 shears down to 16 weight within 3,000 miles per AMSOIL's 2022 lab analysis using high-precision viscometers. Once viscosity drops that low, turbos cook, literally, and bearing clearances widen beyond factory spec. Ask any Subaru WRX or Ford EcoBoost owner who followed the manual religiously. They've seen bearing seizure, oil starvation, and catastrophic failure that required complete turbo replacement at $2,500 a pop. Meanwhile, 5W30 Full Synthetic, Group 4 or 5 base stock, holds viscosity to 480 degrees Fahrenheit and resists thermal breakdown under sustained boost. That's why Garrett and BorgWarner, who build 90% of the world's turbos, recommend minimum 30 weight oil in technical service manuals. If you're running a turbo on 0W20 in Arizona summer, you're playing Russian roulette with your engine's life. Section 7. The Engineer's Secret 0W30 Middle Ground Here's the plot twist nobody talks about in online forums. Many OEM durability engineers quietly run 0W30 and longevity tests that push engines to failure points. It combines 0W's cold start flow with 5W30's high temp stability in a single formulation. A 2019 Lubrizol study found 0W30 reduced wear by 29% versus 0W20, with only a 0.3 miles per gallon penalty that consumers would never notice at the pump. European automakers, Audi, BMW, Volvo, default to 0W30 in both turbo and naturally aspirated engines because they prioritize reliability over EPA numbers. If you live where winters hit freezing, but summers top 90 degrees Fahrenheit, or you tow occasionally or drive spiritedly, 0W30 Synthetic might be your Goldilocks oil that balances all needs. It's not on your dealer's shelf because it doesn't maximize EPA test scores on the dyno, but it maximizes engine life in real-world conditions with temperature swings and varying loads. The Germans figured this out decades ago. Maybe it's time we caught up. Section 8. How to Choose the Real Checklist Stop blindly following the oil cap. Read the fine print instead. Start with your owner's manual. Many cars recommend 0W20, but also allow 5W30 for tougher conditions. 
That note is usually buried a few pages deeper. Now think about your climate and driving style. In cold areas, where temperatures often drop below 20 degrees Fahrenheit, use 0W20 or 0W30 for smoother starts. In normal weather, roughly between 20 and 90 degrees, 5W30 is the perfect all-round choice. In extreme heat or heavy towing, move up to 5W40 synthetic for maximum protection. Always check for API SP, ILSAC GF6, or ACA A5-B5 markings on the bottle. These meet modern engine standards with proper detergents. Go for full synthetic oil if you want longer intervals between changes. It holds up far better under heat than blends or regular oil. Skip the high mileage formulas unless your engine is already leaking or burning oil. Those additives can soften seals that were perfectly fine. Your engine doesn't care about marketing slogans or fancy bottles. It cares about chemistry, viscosity, and consistency under pressure. Choose smart and your engine could easily outlive your car payments. Section nine, the final verdict, efficiency versus longevity. Here's the truth, automakers won't print on brochures or mention in commercials. Zero W20 maximizes fuel economy. That's why it's everywhere from economy cars to full-size trucks. 5W30 maximizes engine life. That's why it survives torture tests and high mileage fleets. If you drive short commutes in mild climates and trade cars every 80,000 miles, 0W20 is fine and you'll never see the consequences. But if you tow, drive hard, live where summers bake pavement to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, or plan to hit 200,000 miles without major repairs, upgrade to 5W30 full synthetic immediately. Your engine will reward you with less noise, zero oil burn, lower operating temperatures, and years of extra service without expensive interventions. The 50 engine study proved it with hard data. Nissan's bulletins confirmed it in internal memos. And independent mechanics have been saying it for decades while watching engines fail prematurely. Now you know what your dealer never will tell you because they profit from repairs, not reliability. Drop your engine code in the comments. I'll tell you which oil your motor actually wants, not what the sticker says or what marketing pushes. If you've switched between 0W20 and 5W30, describe the difference. Smoother? Quieter? Less oil burn? Better cold starts? Your story might save someone's engine before it's too late and they're stranded on the highway. That's not car care, that's car science. Your engine doesn't read brochures or believe in marketing hype. It reads viscosity curves, additive packages, and sheer stability under real-world thermal stress. And now, so do you.